road. A grim pancreatic cancer diagnosis for Jim Monaco. Doctors gave him just four months to live. That was in 2016. I still have my good days and I still have my bad days. Today's a relatively good day. The Virginia Beach 58 year old recently took a break from getting treatments. My oncologist had told me that it's angry. It's, it's, it's flaring up, it's doing some stuff, but it's not growing. Located behind the stomach, healthcare officials say it's the third deadliest cancer in the United States. We spoke with EVMS doctor Mary Beth Hughes about the disease. One, because it can present late, right? Um, but two, I think sometimes its biology is more aggressive too than some of the other cancers. Dr. Hughes says pancreatic cancer is more prevalent here in Hampton Roads than across the state, mainly in Portsmouth and Suffolk. About half of our demographics are African American individuals and they do have a higher increased risk. There may be environmental factors we don't know about. The prognosis does seem very low. Dr. Hughes says only about 15% of patients reach the five year survival rate. She says EVMS is researching ways to better treat the disease and detect it earlier. Some of the risk factors for pancreatic cancer um, are alcoholism, smoking. As for Monaco, he now takes about 20 pills a day. He goes back for a checkup later this month, but he isn't letting pancreatic cancer stop him from enjoying his life. And bring it on because I'm ready to go. I, I'm, I'm a fighter. In Virginia Beach, Brian Hill, News 3.